How many of you how many of you have heard of the paleo diet? Or maybe you've heard it called the caveman diet. Dr. Crudian says the paleo diet is one of the healthiest diets in the world. It's based upon eating wholesome foods and contemporary foods from the food groups that our ancestors would have thrived on during the Stone Age. These foods include fresh meat such as beef, pork, lamb, poultry, and game meat. These meats are usually grass fed and grain free. Also, paleo incorporates some fruits and lots of vegetables. It includes little starch, nuts, and seeds. Paleo has been known to limit the amount of people suffering from obesity, type 2 diabetes, cancer, autoimmune disease, and even acne. When many people first hear about the paleo diet, their first instinct is to think about all the yummy things that they wouldn't be able to eat, such as fast food, bread and grains, candy, and all other things today's Americans have grown to love. It takes a while to realize with the paleo diet, you don't have to go without. There's recipes for brownies, pizza, chips, and even paleo cookies that are my personal favorite. Today, I'll be showing you how to make the paleo almond butter cookies. First, you're going to measure out one cup of almond butter. Next is one third cup of honey. A tablespoon of vanilla. And then we add half a teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. And it's also half a teaspoon of salt. Once you have all your ingredients in the bowl, you can mix them together. In this recipe, you can add dark chocolate chips if you want, or you don't have to, it's up to you. For this one, I am going to add the chocolate chips. Because these cookies don't have any flour on them, when you're spinning them out onto the pan, you want to be very, very careful not to put too much, otherwise they go together. On the pan, I have parchment paper, which just keeps them from sticking. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees, and so you just put tablespoon-sized droplets on the paper.
they turn out looking like these.